Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas, or if you don't celebrate, happy holidays. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is my what I got for Christmas haul for 2020. It's definitely been a couple of years that I've continuously done this video. I love hauls, as you guys may be able to tell by my previous content. Uh, I upload a lot of hauls, or used to anyway. And yeah, for that reason, I've always loved what I got for Christmas hauls. I'm nosy in that way. So I decided to continue to do it this year. Um, of course, usual disclaimers, I'm in no way trying to brag, and if the gift you gave me is not shown in this video, please, please, please don't take it personally. I just tried to narrow it down to a variety of a few things from different categories, just so the video isn't super long. <laughs> so I'm so appreciative for everything I got this year for Christmas. It's been a rough year, and uh, Christmas ended up being super nice and still somewhat busy for me, <laughs> which was great. So without further ado, let's get started into what I got for Christmas this year. I'm gonna start with smaller things and move my way to bigger. Um, you can probably already see one of the boxes behind me, but we'll get to that. Let's start with jewelry first. These I picked out myself from my mom from Kate Spade. When we were in Central Park in September 2019, if you guys remember those vlogs, I'll card them. I had a pair of Opaly Kate Spade earrings that I purchased probably the year before, the year set two years before, in Toronto from Kate Spade. And somewhere along the way, one of them, I guess the backing came loose and the earring fell out. We searched all over the bridge for it where I took that picture. You probably don't know what picture I'm talking about, but <laughs> there's, I specifically remember there's a picture we took um, and we looked around the bridge everywhere, couldn't find it. So that sucked. <laughs> so I finally found another pair of kind of Opaly style earrings that I liked. These are the smaller version of the clear ones that I bought time before that I went to New York with my cousin, my aunt, and my dad's girlfriend. I'm not sure what exactly these are called, if they have a specific name. Yeah, I'm not sure. If they're still available, I'll link them down below, of course, but they're kind of a squarish, rounded off stud, and these in particular have an opaly moonstone kind of coloring to the rhinestone. Um, I think these were $38 US when I got them. I did not get them on sale. I bought them right away as soon as I saw them because once they're gone, they're usually gone for months. So <laughs> if you want a specific pair of earrings from Kate Spade, you definitely need to order it fairly soon after you see it. So yeah, that is the first thing. The next thing I was also kind of in the decision-making process for this gift. <laughs> the day me and mom went shopping downtown, if you were following my vlogmas, you'll know we did manage to get downtown for a bit of local shopping. We also went up to Wink in Churchill Square, and I absolutely love their beaded bracelets. And this year I found this set of three. They are attached together with a metal um, circular piece almost looks like a washer or a nut. Is it a washer? Yeah, it's like a washer. Um, but I'm actually gonna take my pliers and try and get this off because I want to mix and match these bracelets with my other bracelets like it. What I liked about this set is it came with a gold one and I don't have any of these nice bracelets in gold yet. So I was really happy to start that collection. So I'm really happy about this find and I can't wait to wear them. From my Nan, I actually got this candle. I believe they're from Dominion Loblaws or Shopper's Drummer, but I could be wrong there. Um, this is the pomelo and mango scent and it just feels like it would be a great kitchen candle for after cooking fish or such, but it's just super fresh and I really like the smell of it. Yeah, so that is the only candle I got for Christmas. I'm gonna quickly jump over to a kitchen item. This is actually a local product made here in St. John's. It's from the Third Place Cocktail Company, which is actually owned by a family member, so shout out to you guys. This one is called Cola. I originally thought that this was made for rum and coke, which is what kind of drew me to it, but on the back, it actually recommends that you mix it with um, rum and fizzy water, which I mean, I would put this with rum anyway, because that's my that's my main alcohol besides wine. But what makes this called cola with a K is there's actually a nut called cola nut, which I did not know. So I'm really curious to try this and uh, yeah, happy to support my cousin's company. Moving on to a few beauty items. I have picked up some things from Sephora. Uh, I first placed an order as like Christmas presents from my dad during the VIB sale. And then I went back and picked up a couple of other things, but I just narrowed it down to three. Um, this year just to show you. So the first thing I got was the Sephora number 50 Pro brush for powder So that's what the box looks like. 
I have been wanting to replace my bronzer brush for a while, and one day when I was washing it, the insides got really tangled and poofy and kind of ruined. It doesn't really apply as well as it used to, so I decided that I wanted a new one. So I picked out this one. Had great reviews online for both face powder and bronzer, and I like the shape of it. I feel like this will be really good to kind of do like the top sides of my face, and I guess you could even do a really thick, natural looking contour with it if you really wanted to. Super soft, but not too dense, but not too fluffy either. It's kind of that perfect balance, so I can't wait to try this. Okay, moving on. The next thing I picked up, I have talked about on my channel before. I reordered it accidentally in the wrong shade and could not return it. <laughs> So I had to order a new one. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. Definitely used this on my channel before. It is an amazing concealer for under the eyes, especially if you have dark circles like me. So I wear the shade 12 and Fair Neutral. And for some reason, the first time it went down to 20 N and it was just way too dark. And I even tried it as a spot treatment and it was still too dark. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one, unfortunately. And the last beauty item I wanted to mention today was the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Iconic Mini Lip Wardrobe. So it's just a smaller, I think $30 or $40 set of mini Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I have wanted to try Pillow Talk for a long time, but I just couldn't justify the price, especially these days where I'm not wearing a whole lot of makeup, especially lipstick. So I decided to get the minis just for something fun. They feel super great quality. The, the cases of them are like a metal, so they feel kind of cold to the touch. And now let me see what the shades are called. I know Pillow Talk is in here. Yep, so we have Pillow Talk, Very Victoria, and Walk of No Shame. So I will insert a swatch, of course, but they're just beautiful, like neutral, nudie, pinky lip shades. <laughs> this next item was a surprise from my mom. She is very good at being very sneaky. And uh, when we were out shopping downtown, she actually got me my first carving. My dad has a huge collection now of carvings based on our heritage, made of different materials, both like stone and antler and this kind of stuff. This one is an antler one and it's actually of two whales breaching out of the water. So this is my first very own carving and I am so excited for it. Like it, it really surprised me. Okay now let's move on to clothing. So the first one I am wearing, this is from Saltwater Designs. It's a local uh, apparel company here and it says starved to death because I'm always hungry. <laughs> when this first went live on their Instagram, I was obsessed and I needed to order it right away. And I told my mom, I was like, if I order this in, you can give this to me for Christmas. And she was like, sure. So <laughs> finally got it, it is super warm and cozy. And I got it in an extra large, so it's a little baggy around the arms. Also in the kind of sweater jacket department, I got my first uh, shape defined jacket from Lululemon. I decided to not go with a hoodie. I thought about replacing my scuba hoodie and I just couldn't really find one that I liked at my size that was available, to be honest, and I couldn't be bothered to just order one online because there was only like three colors left online and I didn't want a black one, in the hoodie at least. And then I went in store and I was thinking about the Define jackets as another option. They are a little bit more expensive, but they've been around for a while. Lots of people in my family have them and like them. So I decided, you know what, let's try it on. Let's, let's see how it goes. And sure enough, I, I loved how it looked and I was there at the mall the day that they were doing 20% off. So at least I did get a discount on my purchase. I also got a pair of Align leggings with it that I'm wearing right now. I love those for just like every day. They're not very high compression, so they're not my favorite for the gym, but I do love them for every day. And my other pair has stood the test of time in terms of its washing capabilities. Like it, they still look great, so. So I've already worn this, it's dirty, but yeah, I'm sure I'm not the only person this year showing dirty clothes and what I got for Christmas hauls. Moving on to books, I was surprised with a book for Christmas. This is about the residential schools in Labrador and Newfoundland, which I thought was a nice touch. Not Newfoundland and Labrador, but Labrador and Newfoundland. It's called A Long Journey and it was put together by Andrea Proctor. It looks like it just has a bunch of different stories and also photographs. Um, from that time and the Moravians role in Labrador with teaching Christianity and that kind of thing which very much ties into my history. I really look forward to having time to read through this. And also this I picked out from my dad but this is my first Erin Condren planner full size in like five years. I got one when me and mom first moved into this house 
which was in 2015. So <laughs> for 2021, I have a 12 month vertical layout Erin Condren planner. And I love these for school. I find the organization of the weekly spreads just super easy for me to keep track of things. And uh, yeah, they're super durable and they're fantastic. So if you also need a elaborate planner and not just a basic planner like me, this is the one to get. It's worth the money. Okay guys, we're moving on to my kind of bigger things that I wanted to show you today. One of my surprises, I was told to make up a list of potential surprise gifts that I wanted and I ended up receiving a two-piece set of Dutch oven pots. So this guy is the smaller of the two. So it's a two set, they're both red like this. And for those of you who don't know, a Dutch oven, it's, I guess it's made of porcelain. Like it, it doesn't have a glass sound. It sounds like heavy porcelain. Um, they're made so that they are stovetop safe, but they're also oven safe. So say for example, you're cooking like, I don't know, let's say a pork or pot roast or beef roast. You can sear it off on the stovetop and then throw it in the oven to finish cooking so you keep all that flavor. I can't remember the name, like the brand name of this set, but it was bought through Costco. So if you see it there, chances are it's that one. And uh, yeah, apparently dad and his girlfriend looked up reviews on this particular set and everyone said this brand was really good. So I'm really looking forward to making new recipes in these pots. And last but not least, the box behind me. Um, if you guys remember one of my vlogs, I was in the driveway when an Amazon driver <laughs> dropped off a box and it was not discreet at all. It said Keurig right across the top. So sure enough, I was right. My mom got me a Keurig K-Slim. So this is basically the most compact uh, Keurig that you can get and it will hopefully speed up my ability to make tea throughout the day when I'm studying. That's kind of my plan for it. I already got it in its spot on the counter, ready to go. It was a surprise, but not a surprise. You know what I mean? Okay guys, that is everything this year for my What I Got For Christmas video. I wanted to keep it a little bit shorter and sweeter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below telling me what you got for Christmas or what videos you'd like to see in the new year. What would you like me to film? Let me know in the comments below. Okay guys, I will see you with my next video. Bye.